it is important that all electrical appliances are installed by a suitably qualified person who is a member of a recognised competent person scheme and who will comply with the IEE and local regulations. This appliance must be installed using a double pole control unit of 32 ampere minimum capacity with 3 mm minimum contract separation at all poles. Connection should be made with a 6 mm squared twin and earth cable. Please ensure that you route all mains electrical cables well clear of any adjacent heat source, such as the oven or grill. The following instructions are for connecting your new cooker to an existing suitable cooker circuit and is applicable when installing the appliance to a single phase electricity supply. If your supply is three phase or you are in any doubt whatsoever, you must consult a suitably qualified person. In the first instance, you will need to locate the black terminal box which is at the back of the cooker, about two thirds of the way down on the right hand side as you are looking at the appliance. To install this appliance, you will need the following. 6mm squared cooker cable. This needs to be long enough to fit to the cooker and to the cooker point when the appliance is in its final position. Flathead screwdriver. Crosshead screwdriver. Now you must make sure the power supply is turned off. It is important that you fully understand that this appliance must be earthed. To start the installation, gently push the flat-headed screwdriver into the two small open boxes that are located on the underside of the terminal box. This will release the cover. Open the cover by gently pulling it open and upwards until it rests at the top of the box. Make sure that the copper coloured connection links are in place as shown. Using a cross-headed screwdriver, undo and remove the screw on the cable grip. Gently open the cable grip by levering it open with your screwdriver. Loosen, but do not remove the top right, middle left and bottom right screws inside the terminal box. Strip the wires of the cable so they can be safely connected to the terminals. Connect the blue neutral wire to the top right hand terminal by gently pushing the bare end of the cable directly underneath the screw and tightening the screw. Connect the brown live wire to the middle left hand terminal and tighten the screw. Before connecting the earth wire you must ensure that the wire is protected with a yellow and green earth wire sleeve. With its sleeve in place, connect the earth wire to the bottom right hand terminal and tighten the screw. Gently place the cable into position under the cable grip. Push the cable grip bar over the cable. Replace the cable grip screw and tighten. Close the terminal box cover until it gently clicks into place. Make sure that all internal packaging and any combustible materials are removed from the oven cavities before turning the appliance on. Your appliance may now be connected to your cooker box and the mains power turned back on.